Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. I will be taking callers this morning and or afternoon, wherever you are, and answering your questions, helping you connect to loved ones on the other side. If uh, just a few, um, let's make the show go as smoothly and beautifully as possible things. First and foremost, if I call out your area code, please take me off of speakerphone. Second, have one question or one connection ready. <laughs> Not a question that leads to a question that leads to a question or a connection that you have five questions for. I typically have a pretty um, long, uh, a lot of people waiting on the call log. Plus I have questions coming in on YouTube, which brings me to the next thing. Um, this show airs on YouTube, obviously it's YouTube live, but it also airs on Rude Rangers TV, WSCS, and a plethora of um, podcast stations. So knowing that, please be mindful of your questions, comments, personal information you're sharing. And um, yeah, I think that's everything. I think that's everything, all the little things. I'm sure I'll have to say something else as we go along. It is a kind of storming where I am. So if I lose connection, I want to apologize now. Uh, hopefully we'll have a pretty strong connection through the whole show. I want to say hi to the random person and Steve, wonderful. Uh, uh, was seeing everybody here. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Steve has a question right away. Let's see. I retired last week, which means I can now watch you live stream on Mondays. Awesome. Congratulations, Steve. Um, that's absolutely wonderful. If you do have a question and you're on YouTube, you can call or any listening on any podcast, you can call 845-277. 9131 and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. If you are on YouTube and you want to post a question in the chat, I will try to get to that as soon as I can. Okay, I'm going to go to the very first caller who is 203. Hello 203, how are you today? Hey, Tony. Tony? Yes. Hi, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, there might be some background noise. I'm at the tire store one more time. It's Pat from Connecticut. How are you, I'm sweet good. Tony? I'm good, Pat. How are you? I have had, I don't want to be negative, but one problem after another, health with me and my dog, but mainly my car. The past two weeks, I think this is the ninth time being in a, a car repair place. I have had some guys try to help me. I have others rip me off, others been abusive. This has gone on since last November when my mechanic blew my engine. I just want to know, is this going to end? Yeah. Um, so Pat, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's horrible. I know, you know, that's the one thing. It's so anybody who has a vehicle that has to take their vehicle in for anything, it is very um, almost scary because if you don't know the people, even sometimes if you do know the people, like just how much is this going to cost? What's really wrong? Are they being honest with me? It's a very, very um, interesting dynamic when we're doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, I am going to, um, let's clear our energy. So if I say we are clear, I get a no. I'm going to ask that all of that be cleared because sometimes if we're in that space of chaos and fear, we end up being uh, in, in places where it brings that to fruition. The second thing I'm going to say, this is going to end... Um, I feel like in a month, all of this car stuff should be done for you. 
um, you know, there it's it's a very crazy, crazy time in the world right now, and it's a very crazy time for everyone who is who is trying to get things done because we're on a heightened sense of alertness and fear due to the whatever they're putting through and all the commercials um news anything and yeah. what we have to do is we have to start trying to minimize the amount of that that we are taking in and maximize our own knowing so i'm going to i'm going to do a clearing that our no our our personal knowing is strong i get a no on that so we clear that because when our personal knowing or intuition is strong we end up going to the right mechanics the right vets the right doctors who find everything immediately that we need and sometimes and this is a little uh personal information Sometimes we don't need a doctor. Sometimes we need the diagnosis and then we need to figure out on our own what we can do. Um, so I was, uh, uh, my thyroid started kind of tanking out and for a while I went with what the doctor said, but it was um, staying the same or getting worse. The symptoms were getting worse. And I finally talked to this really amazing friend of mine, Michelle in Florida, who said, you know what, get off, get off of all of the medication and get on a supplement that feeds your thi thyroid iodine. For me, that personally worked. Everything with that, it turned around within a week. Everything started turning around. Wow. So th the point is, when you get out of the state of fear and you get into the state of faith or knowing you can hear the truth, you can connect with the right people, and you can be in that place where everything comes together instead of keeps falling apart. So what I'm getting for you, Pat, is you need to, um, and it's really difficult to get out of that space of fear. Uh, don't take this lightly. I'm not saying, oh, ju just have a different thought. Come on, people, just change your mind like that it's not easy to do that i mean there there's areas of every single person's life where we are experiencing fear right now or to some extent and that can be with work or or any any area of your life the idea is to start being in that place where you practice your knowing i've always been taken care of I will always be taken care of. And this doesn't mean we have, you know, a princess, posh, whatever life. This means no matter what happens, we are okay. We are safe. We are divinely protected. Yeah. So for you, the one right. thing that I want to say is you are going into things thinking, oh, you know, for the love of all that's good on this earth, don't don't let it be this, or don't let it be too bad, or don't let this happen. Instead of going in and saying, "Okay, angels, uh, take over here, take take over, get get in and take over." So let's. I feel like in a month, everything with the vehicle is gonna be okay. With your pet, I want to say. There's going to be a, there is a complication right now, but there's going to be, now when I say a complication, it, that doesn't mean something big, okay? A complication doesn't mean something big, huge. It can be a misdiagnosis. It can be a wrong medication. It can be for the, the I don't know why they're saying acid reflux, but it could just be acid reflux. Um, remember, remember our pets pick up our energy and they try to take it uh, on yeah. for us and they cannot shake it off. So the sooner you get back to that space of everything is going to be, I, I'm hearing that. I think the song is by Bob Marley, which is, it amazes me that I, I would even know that um, every little thing is going to be all right. I'm trying not to sing the songs uh. anymore because well, nobody <laughs> should have to hear that. But it, it's like, 
every little thing is going to be uh, apparently I'm singing the songs, whether I want to or not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think you need to play that song. And you, if you are going to watch something on TV, I'm going to say watch DVDs that are comedies that you pre-chose to just start getting you back to that place where you're laughing, you're enjoying life, and you're getting back in that space of um, having your energy go up. And the biggest, best thing we can do for ourselves is laugh because laughter starts to heal ourselves. It starts to get rid of the negative energy. So just put on comedies that you love and, and watch them and listen to them okay, and enjoy them. And just know that, you know, even if your, your vehicle is at a place in this moment, they're going to do what's right for your vehicle. Oh, <laughs> you do find some shysty. We're going to clear that everything gets done to your vehicle perfectly oh, the first time. And yeah, there's a lot of fear with this. So let's clear that to a yes, not only for you, but for anybody listening to this. Okay, love? And what was the last thing you said? I said, oh, oh I just sorry. said, okay, love. Okay, love. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fear because it's been a whole year. I keep, you know, getting back and being positive and trying to laugh. It's been amazing. And I am. I've got, I've never had fear like this before of getting in my car and wondering what's next because it, it spends $5,000 worth. And and I, I've got to keep this car for a couple more years to try and save, you know, for another one. So I hear you very right. much. I appreciate so knowing I that things to, will be okay and better in a month. Yeah, I want you to turn that around. And they could be okay now. They really could. They could be okay now. And now. I want you to turn that around okay, to, from what's next to... Uh, we fixed everything and we're moving forward. We fixed everything and we're moving okay. forward. The, the worst is behind That's us. It good. can only get better now. Okay? Okay. Can you share your um, iodine supplement? That, that would be great. Or I'll email you. And I've been afraid to call you for a reason, reading because I have so many things going on. I'm afraid that that's going to block the reading. Is that the case? No, not at when all. there's too much worry? and No, not at okay. all. Um, the iodine okay. is, I, and thank you for asking. I will share it. And again, I'm not a doctor. This is my personal experience because of my beautiful, beautiful friend, Michelle from Florida, who worked with insurance and has studied a great deal. And she worked with a naturopath during her, her thyroid experience. One of the things we need to realize is our food has dramatically changed. Our soil is no longer the same. Um, our soil has been depleted of its nutrients. We should be pulling the top 10 layers off of the soil we use for farming and using the soil underneath that. But there's been so many um, uh, toxins put in our soil from um, trying to kill like from pesticides and now with GMOs and other things going on that our food is not getting the nutrients from the earth that it always needs. And our salts have changed. Everybody has gone to Himalayan tables, Himalayan sea salt, table salt, or just sea salt, table salt. And the sources that we used to get the iodine from to feed our thyroid are no longer there. They're no longer um, as strong, shall I say, or good. So I personally used a product from Terry Naturally, um, and it's th uh, a thyroid care product that I get at a store called Health Hut in Brookfield, Wisconsin. So um, you can look up Terry Naturally. There's a, a full line. And the way I use the thyroid product was not according to what was on the box, okay? <laughs> um, because my thyroid was coming from a deficit, I had to uh, overuse the product, which it's a natural product, right? Most supplements, most supplements flush out of your body if you're getting too much of them. So don't, don't always worry about that. And 
if you go to a good health food store, they're going to tell you the truth. They're, they're going to be honest with you. Um, I will tell you when I went from the medication to the, uh, supplement, I, I had a lot, my hair used to be down to here and my hair just started breaking off <laughs> and it's finally not breaking off and not like falling out by a great deal. Actually, I'm not having any hair like break off. Like I could do this and I would pull strands of hair with it. So with this supplement, personally, for me, it was amazing. I'm not giving anybody medical advice because, well, I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying what worked for me. Okay, I'm going to go to the very next caller. Thank you, Pat. And I look forward to talking with you soon. I'm going to go to um, caller number 917. 917, how are you today? Hi, uh, happy Monday. Thank you for having me show. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Tina and I'm calling from New Jersey. Hey, how can I help you today? Yes, I would like to ask about a relationship uh, with my boyfriend, Todd. Okay, what would you like to know? I just would have spirit wants us to know. I, I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? And if I'm on speaker, please take me off of speakerphone. I'm not on speaker. I heard you the first time. Okay, it I sounds said, like something well, is squeaking was... in the background. That's why. So, uh, what? I'm sorry, can you repeat your question? Yes, I wanted to ask about my relationship with my boyfriend, Todd. And whatever I said, what you said, what did I want to know specifically? I said, whatever spirit wanted us to know, please. Thank you. Okay, um, so the weird, here's, so the way my abilities work is I'm a channel and, um, I start to, with you, I'm, I'm just going to mute you because it sounds like the fire detector needs its battery changed, but I am going to answer your question. So please don't, um, Go any place. I am going to answer your question. I will unmute you as soon as I'm done. But that squeaking in the background is uh, very distracting or that beeping in the background is very distracting. Here's what I'm going to tell you. As soon as I tap in and I start getting into the energy of you, you're fine. You talk, you talk a little fast. That's okay. I get that. Being a Gemini, I 100% get that. Um, but as... As soon as I tap into your relationship, I start shaking. Like my body literally starts shaking. And there's this um, this feeling that comes over me that I, I'm I'm not even sure I'm familiar with. Uh, but it's a very whew, uh, like chaotic or uh, this just this weird energy that I'm not really even, I don't know if familiar is the right word, but um, here's what I will say. That's just the feeling I get. I don't know why I get that feeling. Maybe you get so excited that you literally want to implode when you think of him, or maybe it is um, something else. I feel personally like it's something else. Okay. I feel like there's something else going on. What I'm going to tell you as far as your relationship goes and what they want you to know about this relationship. Um, okay. They're singing this song. Oh, burning down the house. It's burning down the house by that group that sings burning down the house. Um, it starts. Oh, watch out. You, oh my God, sweetie, you might get what you're, I think it says, watch out. You might get what you're after 365 degrees burning down the house. Now, I don't know. This could be, <clears throat> <clears throat> holy cow. Uh, every time I go to say something positive, they just want to shut down my throat. 
Um, this could mean, hey, watch out, you're going to get what you're after. This could be a really good thing, but you know your relationship better than I do. You know his personality. You know his... Um, you know him. You know him. Don't worry about your relationship. Worry about um, what you know to be true and move forward on that. I'm going to go to the very next caller, 914. 914, how are you today? Hi, good, thank you. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank, thank you so much for taking my call. Absolutely, my yeah, pleasure. I'm happy to hear that. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Catherine, and I'm calling from New York. Okay, Catherine, how, thank you for calling in. How can I help you today? Um, I wanted to tell you, you were so right. I had called you a few months ago, and um, the person I was with really turned out to be um, somebody that, you know, isn't to be trusted like you. Had said. I just heard you. <laughs> um, I think, well, thank you so much for the confirmation. And when you said the person I was with turned out to be, I heard the word jerk. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the mild way to put it. <laughs> yeah, there. Uh, well, we are on TV, yeah. so we can't really swear. I I wish the last caller would have <laughs> been more open to my answer and listen because mm, she uh, she obviously didn't like what I said. I hope I hope she uh, you know I, it's always an interest interesting dynamic. So. I want to ask you, how can I, um, how can I help you today? What's your question or comment for today? I was wondering, please, I'd like to um, wonder if you pick up anything on, um, a gentleman has offered me work overseas. Um, actually, two of them have. Um, and you know, since it's overseas, it's a, it's a pretty big decision. Um, it wouldn't be permanent. There are only, you know, um, projects that would last a few months. But I was wondering if you see them, in fact, happening. Um, one person, um, I don't know, do you need their name? Uh, no, I um, can tell you. Um, okay. One of them is going to, one of these offers is going to fall apart very quickly. One of them is going to kind of fall apart quickly okay it's not going to stay in um an active offer and it's good it shouldn't okay it shouldn't it's not uh okay. the best opportunity the other offer i feel like the choice is going to be yours but i also feel like okay there's a better offer closer to home I feel like there's going to be something that comes up that is closer to home. And I don't know why they're saying this because I am the type of person, if you can travel for work, do it, run wherever you can go, whatever you can do. We're here to explore this big, beautiful world. But for some reason, they're saying for, for whatever reason right now, um, the, the best offer for you is closer to home. And this offer is going to be coming in within a month. This offer is going to be substantial. It is not something you already know about or have. Has she heard about this? No, you have not heard about this offer yet. It's coming in within a month. And I hear the word partnership. Um, and because we're talking about work, I'm going to assume for a moment that this is still, this partnership is still based with the word partnership. Is that with, with the work? Yep. So maybe something close to home. And as I go to say this, I'm getting goosebumps up my um, left leg, which can be a confirmation for me. I'm going to tell you there's a possibility of someone coming in and offering you more than you were looking for. That's the way they want to say it. And when this offer comes in, and it will, and it's coming within a month, 
you are going to have divine guidance all the way through this offer. There is no part of this offer that you will not appreciate or like. You're going to take this offer and you are going to run with it. If there's any hesitation or fear as you get into this offer, let that go immediately. You're going to be in a space where you are fully appreciated and have growth potential from beginning and all the way through this opportunity. Once you get this opportunity, you will be working in your fullest capacity, doing everything that you love and everything that you want to do in a way that's going to offer you expansion that you may not have known existed. Wow. Okay, so oh, for those that's really amazing. For I just uh thank you so much. And I just for those of you who are watching me on YouTube and um listening to me, sometimes when I channel um angels step in and literally start talking to me and people comment like the color of my eyes change, obviously my voice changes. And when something comes through that is really important to get out they will step in and they will literally say it. So please re-listen to this message, watch it on YouTube, do whatever you need to do to see the power that they brought through in that message for you. Okay, love? Don't take this lightly. Um, yes, I will. I want, and what, wow. they, what they're asking you to do is to literally re-watch or re-listen to this message and write it down and read it every morning so you don't get distracted by something else. I do feel like this opportunity is coming to you. I want you to keep looking, but I feel like this opportunity is coming to you. It's something that is going to be offered to you, um, but we still need to stay in that energy of seeking, <clears throat> excuse me, seeking out the possibilities. But I feel like these people, these people or person, and I, now, now it's very important to understand, I did not say the word company. Love, I'm going to ask you just to hold for one second. Don't, don't go anyplace. For those of you watching me on WSCS or watching the 30 minute version of this show, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so grateful you've been here. There is a part two to this show. So please stay tuned for part two or the next episode of this show where you will be able to finish listening to all the callers, all the comments and the YouTube um, questions as well, if this is where we part because you're watching the 30 minute version, thank you so much for joining me. And remember, it's your job to create the miracles in your life.